Hello, Intermediate School, and welcome, welcome you here to ch channel, channel WRRS on January 11th, 2019. I'm Dorothy. And I'm Sam. We pride ourselves with bringing you the latest in Intermediate School news. Happy New Year. WRRS hopes that this year will bring a lot of success to all of us here at the Intermediate School. The, the beginning of the new year can be a great time to start fresh. Let's go to the map outside the office to get the latest update on where homerooms are on the journey across the U.S. Wait! I have breaking news. We need to in interrupt our next clip to give up you this breaking news from Ms. Ga Mr. Gaffney. Happy New Year, Intermediate School. Just want to welcome everybody back and give you a bit of a surprise. So with our challenge, you see on the wall here where everybody's at, getting us towards our end result, we have decided and we are going to move everybody from here or wherever they're at to Laura Ingalls Wilder's house in Minnesota. After WRS, Everybody will move to Laura Ingalls Wilder's house here in Minnesota. So look at your t look at your team homeroom pictures, and you'll see they're all going to be moved. It'll be red, ready to strong. That is awesome. Okay, homerooms, you have been given a fresh start. Now let let's all start showing even more respect, responsible, and safety to get those tickets in. Our next stop is in Wisconsin to learn about Laura Ingalls Wild. Laura Ingalls Wilder was an American writer known for, her, for the Little House on the Prairie series of books. The books were all based on her life as part of a settler from Pioneer family. Laura was born near Pepin in the Big Woods region of Wisconsin. Let's watch this video about Laura Ingalls Wilder, Ingalls Wilder's life. Laura Ingalls Wilder wrote these classic children's books, allowing millions of readers to live the westward expansion period of American history. Laura did not create the characters, places, and events in these books. She knew them and lived them. In the Little House books, she told the story of her life. She wrote them so that children would know what life was like as she was growing up. Laura Ingalls Wilder was born on February 7, 1867, near the town of Pepin, Wisconsin, as she described in her first book, Little House in the Big Woods. She lived there with her ma, pa, and sister Mary, who was born in 1865. The Ingalls moved many times across the Midwest through Laura's childhood. She simplified the narrative of her books by skipping over a few of their moves. In her 50s, Laura began to write down her childhood memories. Rose was by then a famous writer and encouraged her mother to write. Laura's first book, Little House in the Big Woods, was published in 1932 when she was 65. The rest of the series followed quickly, concluding with these happy golden years in 1943. The last book in the Little House series, The First Four Years, was found in draft form after Laura's death and published in 1971. Almanzo died in 1949. Laura lived alone at Rocky Ridge until she died in 1957 at the age of 90. Laura wrote to young fans of her books, 
The Little House books are stories of long ago, but the real things haven't changed. It is still best to be honest and truthful, to make the most of what we have, to be happy with simple pleasures, and to be cheerful and have courage when things go wrong. Laura Ingalls Wilder had a big impact on children by, by just telling her story. She is an inspiration to many. Maybe you, you can write about you, yourself, your, your life and, and inspire people too. Next stop, Lincoln, Illinois. Here is, here is this week's trivia question for a prize. We all know that Abraham Lincoln was one of our presidents. But did you know that Lincoln invented something? What did Abraham Lincoln invent and what was it used for? Do the research and write down the answer. Take it to Miss Walter and you can get a, a prize and a ticket. I, I heard she has new prizes too. Mrs. Kuhn is here to give us the update on how we did for, with Pennies for Paws. Okay. By the way, Mrs. Kuhn, how did Pennies for Paws and Operation Snoopy turn out this year? It turned out really well, Mrs. Damrat. Oh. The children here at the Intermediate School have such big hearts in our staff and faculty. Um, we raised five hundred fifty dollars. Oh we have never raised that much before. It is a, a new thing for us, and for the first time ever as well. A classroom filled a whole can for pennies oh for cause. So for the first time ever, Mrs. Stark's class um, filled a, a whole uh, a can for pennies for cause. You're kidding. No, that is so this, fantastic. We, two firsts. Five hundred fifty dollars and for the food and medicine and shelter for the oh, animals and that's wonderful. Um, full cans of money. So we did really really well. And I got to tell you something. As I was. Um, leading the facility. There were so many happy barks and happy meows. Oh, and, that's awesome. And uh, we'll do it again next year and they appreciated the blankets, the toys, the food. They, it was just overwhelming. There was tears of joy. I'm sure. Them. And you know, the, the, something else that goes with this is the kids, it was a beautiful lesson in giving yes. for others. At you Christmas know. time, that's a very, very, very good lesson. So I think the children thoroughly enjoyed it. And Great. We have a very giving. Well, good job, Mrs. Q. Well, no, good job, Horn Elementary Media School and everyone who helped support us. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Great job, Intermediate School. You all show, showed that we can be Red Raider strong. We have some pictures of the green eggs and ham breakfast with Mr. Gaffney and Mr. Carter. Let's go to the I Am Cam with Mrs. Friedman. I never give up. I am Red Raider strong. I am strong. I am an artist. I am positive. I am strong. I am happy. I am a winner. I am awesome. I am... <laughs> The best. Anyone else? I am cool. This brings an end to our broadcast this morning. Don't for, don't forget to show respect for our school, our classmates, family, and community. 
and be responsible. We are respectful. We are responsible. We are safe. We, we are, are red, 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 or strong. strong. What are we going to be? We are going to be... Red, red, strong! One more time.